Galactic Free Press Update. Bringing Humanity Home. Energy and Event Update. With love from the Galactic Center. The full moon for March was all about love. Love is the key and the way, quoted from Judy Sartori. Greetings, love beings. When we said we were in intense energies, we were not kidding. We have been experiencing lots of huge shifts with no signs of stopping. The energy with the equinox and now with the Libra full moon has kicked us into high gear. Next up will be Easter, which represents resurrection. This is a perfect representation of the ego death and the phoenix rising. The real being will be rising from out of the ashes. This is what is occurring now for those first waivers who are ready for full activation and are going through the transfiguration event to connect to the higher grid for a new paradigm creation. We are in the year for unity consciousness, and this is exactly what is unfolding. The good news is we have many of the first waivers almost ready. These next few weeks and months, many will come online and begin their next missions on planet Earth, Equal Heart, the co-creation of the new Earth. Yeehaw for those who have done their clearing, have chosen love, and are prepared for the next facet of the divine plan. Quoted from Maline Lafont. It is with the greatest of pleasure that I may announce to all of you, precious hearts, that a huge shift has taken place and is currently still unfolding. A wonderful progress has been made in the hearts and in the collective of humanity. Big leaps have been taken by many hearts and countless awakenings are still occurring thanks to the energetic influx of the spring equinox and to the energies coming in from the galactic center. A large number of awakened souls have diligently participated in this process and have enlightened their soul in such a way that a big part of the collective have instigated a new ascension process. As we now enter into this profound and refined world of our being, all preparations have been made for the next step leading us ever further into the magic of our being. Numerous influences of the light have been birthed, which will assist everything on earth to evolve in a more explicit way, which will titillate the flames in more and more hearts. On this current level of your being, a more global graduation is about to be reached, corresponding with the fifth and sixth dimensional frequency of being. Everyone and everything can now reach a higher consciousness and a higher being up to the point that a complete connection with their higher self can be established. For some souls, this process has already been accomplished. Their remaining task is to keep on assisting on beloved Gaia in order to lead everyone to the connection with their own being. These new awakenings will result in a greater collective consciousness, probably leading to a planetary, global, and universal ascension. And that's ultimately the reason for your presence on Earth in these times. During the integrations of these new and powerful energies, your physical bodies will again require more rest. Do not be concerned if you don't feel or don't notice anything, or if you haven't had the time to meditate, thereby assisting this whole process. 
as those intense energies will continue to deliver their necessary effects during the coming days, leaving nobody untouched. The varying effects differ from heart to heart and from place to place. As is commonly known, there are variations in dimensional frequencies on beloved Gaia. And even in this case, there will be strong differences to the extent in which the equinox energies can unfold in specific locations. One specific frequency field will expect more of the collective unity of cooperation and focus than the other because there are quite a few hearts and areas still lingering in a lower frequency field. That is now about to change drastically. What has been prepared for such a long time now is slowly reaching its own zenith. Numerous souls will be able to practice their calling and definitely start their missions on a collective and conscious level. There will be a need to focus on the inner world and on the heart so that a balance can be achieved and the work can be accomplished from a beautiful state of being. Mother and Father God of all creation that is, support this magnificent opportunity with their blessing and their uncond unconditional love. Every cloud has a silver lining is the aphorism of the day. Well, enjoy the first sun rays ushering in your new world, as this is the beginning of the real manifestations from all of you through your hearts and into your outer world. Positive times ahead, and the best is yet to come. End of quote. And thanks to Cobra, with the Plidian perspective on the new equinox cycle. We are here to create an evolution unlike any that has gone before. A conscious awareness tsunami that will sweep the planet and shake our modern world to its very core. A transcultural spiritual evolution which will transform the separate and fragmented cultures of Earth into one vast, global and planetary metaculture in which the unique diversity of every nation, of every peoples, of every tribe, of every person is valued as contributing to the beauty of the whole, the Pleiadian. End of quote. To assist us even further in this energy, we will enter a solar wind stream, most likely on the 29th of March, and this will be followed by historical Easter with a new Pope who so far is presenting himself in the light, and his birthday sign is in the fiery Sagittarius. All signs point up. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal. The dark drew you into their realm nearly 13 millennia ago, bringing you into misery, slavery, and an ever-increasing amount of despair. Now, these times are over. End of quote. We have shared in, a pre in previous messages, we are now shifting on a daily basis and many are becoming aware of this truth. All are being affected. And if humanity does not have a starship parked in their garage, everyone on the planet will have to rise to the 5D frequencies one way or the other. The planet is already there. And now it's humanity's turn. They have less than 18 months now to accomplish this task. Quoted from Kate Ann Spreckley. The energies of March and April are accelerating the dissolution of old structures, patterns, and belief systems, giving us access to more and more of our new paradigm rooted in unity, Christ consciousness. 
With this acceleration, our awareness is deepening, and we can clearly see and understand that the cause of all of our suffering and crisis has been the absence of consciousness. In our harsh cultures, dualistic thinking has reigned, and we have been entangled in isolation, separation, and self-doubt. Our lives have been divided into opposites of male, female, light, dark, joy, sorry, sorry, and love and fear. We have had to know each side in order to learn the polar opposite so that we may move into a state of wholeness and of balance. The years of processing, awakening, healing, and balancing have sometimes been an agonizing procedure because we have found it so difficult to surrender into unity. Now, it would seem that we have no choice but to keep afloat as the flow of divine energies is moving extraordinarily fast. This next paragraph from the Hopi Elders' statement is something that keeps coming to me and so aptly describes what many are facing now. There is a river flowing very fast. It is so great and fast that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel that they are being torn apart and they might suffer greatly. Know that the river has its destination. The elders say that we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and our heads above the water, end of quote. In the past 72 hours, we have had many cloud ships appear around us and many others are experiencing this as well. As the energies increase, the consciousness on the planet with everyone expands as well and more and more are able to see these cloud ships. This is an indication of how intense the energies are becoming and, the, and our craft are able to come closer to us, energetically speaking. They have always been here. It's just as the new earth energies come in, they appear more often. Quoted from Golden Light. Good evening. <clears throat> we are the Council of Angels, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. We are also joined by the Palladian Council tonight. The cloud ship that this channel saw was a Palladian cloud, cloud ship, and we wanted to bring awareness to this. We wanted to show her that we are, are enveloping her and the planet, as well as all beings on the planet, with our beautiful wings of love, light, transcendence, beauty, majesty, and grace. The rainbow is a symbol of God's grace and majesty, and abundance is brought forward by trusting in God, or Source. We wanted to show the channel that we love and care for her, as we do all beings, and that is why we placed a special message of abundance, the quarter with her birth year and in God we trust, as a gift for her on her journey today. The intersecting of our worlds has begun in earnest now, with the angelic realm, beings from other star systems and galaxies, and ascended masters joining in unison to assist in the co-creation of your new earth, your new home, for your existence in the higher dimensional realms into which you are all entering. All beings are invited to join this realm, and those who are able to increase their consciousness spiritual awareness, and frequencies are becoming increasingly aware of this. This new earth and new world already exists and is outside of time. It is simply that you and we together are breathing it into existence simultaneously at the same time that it already exists. 
a difficult concept to understand from the 3D point of view, but it's still true nonetheless. We are hoping that messages of upliftment and awareness, such as this message and others on your internet, will begin to seep into mainstream society to bring all beings into awareness of what is occurring with your planet and with the intersecting of all these realms now of the third, fourth, and fifth dimensions. All in the universe are being upgraded to another level. This is a universal occurrence happening everywhere, not just on your planet Earth. Although your planet Earth contains a human race, an experimental race, which is now ascending into a higher dimension in their bodies. Another experiment which is occurring for the very first time ever in the history of ever. And this experiment is being manifested beautifully in your realm. As you continue to trust that this ascension experience is real, that you are indeed moving into a new earth, and higher dimensions, you will begin to trust more in Source and in higher dimensional beings such as angels, ascended masters, and those from your star families. The abundance that is available to all of you in this new world is an extension of trusting in Source, of God. Hence the message to the channel today of In God We Trust, or In Source and in the higher realms, we trust. Now we have a Plydean message. We are all emanations from the source. We, the Plydean Council, you as beings on earth, the angels, the ascended masters, and all living beings throughout the universe and omniverse. Now is a time of the lifting of the veil which is like taking off blinders so that you can see beyond your former third dimensional world, which is slowly reciting into the distance, sorry, receding into the distance or vanishing in a sense. The old holographic reality has no more source energy to hold it up. That is why all is collapsing in the old world. That is why your banking system is collapsing. The old earth is collapsing. Hence, sinkholes and the entire paradigm is like a holographic tent that was pumped full of air and now all the air is being let out so that it simply collapses and vanishes into nothingness. Your new world, which is already in existence, is a most beautiful planet with clean water, clean skies, clean earth, abundance and joy, love and light, unity, all things that are pure and good. And you are all increasing your frequencies to match this new world so that you are stepping through the now ever so thin veil of illusion that exists between the two worlds or that is beginning to vanish now so that the two worlds are intersecting as the old paradigm collapses and vanishes. We can see it from where we are and it is most interesting and fascinating phenomenon to watch. Yes, we are watching it all and it is the most beautiful occurrence to ever grace your planet for eons. Allow all this to happen. Be ever aware and grateful, and know that you are on the golden path homeward towards the light, love, harmony, peace, brotherhood, sisterhood, and all good things. Your new earth planet is without borders, without wars, or any type of lower frequency vibrations. It all exists in the now. You are all just catching up in frequency to merge into this new world. It is a difficult phenomenon to describe from your perspective, but we are showing a visual to the channel now that she is trying to convey in words. Please tune in, tune in for a moment to this vision.
we are sending energetic frequency of harmonization now encoded in this message so that you may absorb this and it will assist you in your process of integration with these higher frequencies. End of quote. With the connection of all the grid points with the first waivers, the co-creation of the new earth will begin in earnest. This will occur through group connections from the portals connecting to the higher grid and magnifying this energy. This is the next step in the divine plan. As this occurs, then together, we will co-create the new earth equal heart in a oneness flow of energy. This is represented in the Celestine Prophecy book by James Redfield, which is a group or groups together, focused energy of the highest visions of tr love, truth, and joy, which produces a flow of magical synchronistic events. This begins expanding and expanding into greater and grander experiences of joy as the love energy builds. This is synergy. Quoted from James Redfield. The eleventh insight is the precise method through which we hold the vision. For centuries, religious scriptures, poems, and philosophies have pointed to a latent power of the heart within all of us that mysteriously helps to affect what occurs. We are finding that this prayer power is a field of intention which moves out from us and can be extended and strengthened, especially when we connect with others in a common vision. This is the power through which we hold the vision of a new spiritual world and build the energy in ourselves and in others to make this vision a reality. End of quote. All major and minor chakra points on the earth are ready. Decreed by heaven. First waivers are going through the transfiguration event, which will be activating the second waivers. All will be affected by the spiral of oneness energy flowing into this planet. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the Company of Heaven, the ground crew, troops, the A-team, and the first contact ground crew team.